what do you think about uh, Starlink and how it's helped Ukraine uh, with data connection? I, I love it. I love it. And in my TEDx talk I gave back in November of 2016, which you can watch on, on YouTube, in my TEDx talk, I, I talked about how one day space pioneers like Elon Musk, I talked about him specifically, will put in low orbiting satellites so that the entire world gets access to unfiltered uh, education online. You know, and what can you do if you're Putin? You know, you wave your fist in the air. You don't control the airspace. Yeah. So I, I absolutely love uh, what, what he's doing. Yeah. I love almost everything about, about Elon. Yeah. And he is brilliant. And you've never seen a Tesla commercial. We haven't. And it's brilliant because most companies spend 10% of their annual uh, uh, revenues uh, on advertising. Coca-Cola has $40 billion in annual revenue. They spend $4 billion in advertising. Tesla doesn't really advertise. He's getting all this free publicity from saying, I think I want to buy Twitter. Maybe not. We'll see. Yeah. And he's controversial, but tasteful. Yeah. And you got to be controversial if you want free media attention. It's, it's a great way to put yourself on the map as well. And so as you become a thought leader, as I talked about earlier today, uh, and you will pine a lot and publish your book, which is free to do, make sure you're a bit controversial. You know, not, not too controversial, but somewhat controversial. So for me, I could say that two thirds of HBS, which is Harvard Business School, two thirds of HBS is BS. And maybe you can say it about Harun Business School too, I don't know, yeah. But be controversial. And, and Mark Benioff's been controversial since he launched Salesforce back in 1999 by saying that software is dead, uh, that cloud is the future. And Sir Richard Branson, he when he launched uh, Virgin Cola back in the 80s, he rented a tank and drove through Times Square. And he declared war on Coca-Cola. Yeah. So you gotta be controversial.